Hi, this is your girl Julie Sylvia Kalunji coming at you live from Merseyside in the UK and today I've written a personal letter from me to you because I believe in you. I believe we, you and I together, we can bring your vision to manifestation in the new year because I know that like you, there are several things that I and you we have put together, we have planned, we planned at the beginning of this year, we created vision boards, and you have created a vision board, I've created a vision board, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please, please, you will find a link below this video that will tell you exactly what a vision board is and how you can get yours to life and start to manifest more of what you do. So I've written a letter from me to you because I believe you deserve more and I'm going to read it to you and help you manifest more of what you want because I know, I know that you deserve more. So uh, today I want to speak from my heart and from my soul and like I said, I see you have a vision and yes, it's your vision and I believe you want it to come to life. Now. It's your journey and it's your life. And yet I want for you to know that every second of the day, you have a choice to do whatever the heck you need to do to change your life. Whatever hasn't panned out in this year, put it aside, let it go. This is the ultimate month of this year and it's a, it's a time to start to look deep, deep, take stock, uh, self audit, and also a time to put aside all those thoughts and focus on the things that matter. Family, friends, life, loving, giving, and receiving. It's a season of loving. It's a season of giving. It's a season of rebirth and joy. And you should start to enjoy it. So, every year for the, for the very last three years, together with my family, we've written down our dreams and hopes for the year. But one thing we have learned is to not have expectations, rather to be grateful for what we have and where we are today. So we've traded our expectations for gratitude. And our life has changed in a way that you can't begin to imagine. I have a dream board. And like I said, if you don't have one, you really need to start creating one. It's not hocus pocus. This works. Sometimes I get so excited inside of me, even though I can't see you. I know you are reading this and you're listening to this and have that little fire burning for the new year. What you want to do with your talents, life, etc. Yet we all have 24 hours. And I know that every blessed day you're doing your very best, working as hard as you can. I know. I know it. I see it in your posts, in your Facebook shares. I see it. I read it in your blog posts, in your social media updates. And I can feel your pain. I know you're motivated to drive your vision. I know you will succeed if you allow your pain to push you until your vision pulls you to your desired life. This is a lesson I learned in Tampa at Teal with Ray Higdon. And I have since dug deep and dived deeper into its meaning and that and what it means for my life. And I'm going to share with you what that what I've learned that means for my life and you could to adopt for your life. Guys, if you spend an hour daily to mind your business, dig deep, real deep into your spirit and your soul and lift yourself up to source into who you are, you will get what you want every time. Seriously, you're gonna have to dig real deep because if you're if you're listening to me and you're reading my blog post then it would be one of three things you love our blog posts and you love our updates and you love our content and we love you more this year hasn't been as productive as you could have liked so you would have been or you're not yet where you need and desire to be if it, if that is you i feel your pain i've been there all i can say is i feel you don't beat yourself up that's not what you need to do. Remember, your self-talk is meant to uplift you, not to bring you down. 
you know, no one is going to do it for you. No one is going to lift you up until you get to that place where they need you and positively seek you. They are attracted to you and they edify you and they validate you and they want to be part of your life. Until then, it's your job and yours alone to lift yourself up, to promote yourself, to tell yourself that you're the voice, that you matter, you're worthy. I'm telling you today, you matter and you're worthy. But if you're not telling yourself that, it doesn't matter what I say, it doesn't matter what you do. It's not going to happen because if you don't see it in your mind, what you want in your life, for your life, it's not going to come to you. I want you to have it. I so want you to get to where you want to be. It is unbelievable. So I have been there myself and I'm looking at my vision board today right now. And it still has half the stuff that we started the year with. So you are not alone. I feel your pain. I know where you're coming from. I feel it too. Today I'm saying this and I'm, I've written this letter to you because I've been looking at my vision board this week and I know exactly where I went wrong. I take full responsibility for my known results and so should you. See, what I'm, I'm going to paint this picture and I'm not going to paint all sugar and spice for you because that's not what I want for you. Because I am a realistic and practical person, but I am a huge dreamer. I dream, I dream every day, and so should you. I'm coming from a place of love, knowing that we are in this together. We both have a vision. Mine, your vision, they are huge, right? So we got to step up because the soul of who you are, the soul of who you are is going to get you to the place you want to be if you let it. That soul loves you. That soul wants you to grow. It wants you to get that beautiful shape you want to. Get you to get into that relationship you dream of. It wants you to get those dynamic dollars you desire and dream of every blessed day. It does want you to. So I want you to pay attention. Only you have control over your results. Focusing every day your thoughts on your tomorrow. Be fully aware that where you are today is 100% a result of what you thought yesterday. Last week, last month, last year, I'm so energy and so are you. You have the power to co-create and bring your life to vision today. Are you alive to your needs? Are you focusing your every positive thought, feeling and actions to your purpose? Your vision is literally waiting a millisecond away from you. Yet that second may seem like ends away in your conscious mind. That's where you don't want to be. Your conscious mind has been conditioned to sabotage you. You need to dig deep and find that soul, that soul within you, that subconscious mind. It's so waiting for you to seek it out and it will spring to life and get to work for you. Have you forgotten to dream? Have you allowed the daily grind and hustle to take over so much of your vision? It's shielded behind all the noise around you. I know that feeling and here are my thoughts. Fortunately, it's a great time of year, my, my son, <laughs> my son. He calls it the best time of year ever. He loves December. He loves the Christmas season. A season of love, giving, receiving, sharing, fellowship, praise, worship. A time to attract what we desire because we are tapped in, tuned into that inner source. The, the more joy you have, the more laughter you have, the more of that good feeling you bottle up and bring out into your life, the more you attract what you want. So it is a season actually of attracting what we want into the new year. See, it's also so the best time to revisit your vision, your dreams and expectations. Find the joy of living again. Do a self-audit, but not with a, with a view to beat yourself up, but to lift yourself up to where you want to go and you want to be. The joy and excitement you had when you first invested in you, you need to rekindle that love because you are the first love of your life and then you can love other people. If you can't love you, I, ca I guarantee you can't love nobody else. So you just need to feel as good, joyous, and alive as you possibly can this moment right now. Right now. That's what it's all about. And what your journey is about. And that's it. You need to know that every second of the day, you have a choice to succeed in every possible way. Spiritually, if we all get this, then you and I, my friend, we are successful. We have a short time on this planet and we want to be positive, to laugh, to love, to learn, to do our best and be loved. And I know that you, my friend, are out there working on this. So let's make the new year the best year yet. And here is how. Where you and I, this is what you need to be doing. I'll do mine, you do yours, okay? We have to think and meditate on your vision. 
meditate for at least 10 to 30 minutes a day. We, this will help crystallize it for you. Envision and visualize what you'd like your life to look like now with your loved ones in your dream location doing what you love. You know the drill. And if you don't, like I said, there's an article that you can read. Enjoy that feeling and hold on to that feeling of enjoyment here and now. Hold on to it. If you can bottle it and, and every time open that little bottle and take a sniff and a, and a feel of that feeling, every blessed day you will be in the right place. Express your vision. And the best way to do that is by daily affirmations. Now, I have a whole list of daily affirmations. There's a podcast on Your Power Echoes on iTunes and SoundCloud where you can find some daily affirmations for you that you can start and you can tweak to do what you got to do. Voice your vision. Again, speak it into your soul and into your life, spirit, and say it in the mirror. Record your voice. And listen to your dreams daily, morning and evening, as part of your daily success routine or ritual. Speak your vision. Write down your vision. Before you record it, it's a given that you have written it down, right? So create that vision board already. Create that vision board. This is definitely asking souls. He or she is listening and waiting for you. Right there with you. Uplifting you encouraging you, acknowledging you, supporting you, just go to ask them. Enact your vision by taking daily focused action, targeted productive action towards your goals. And here's the bit you didn't expect. Give more, for it's in giving that we receive. Believe you me, if your fist, I've said this before, if your fist is closed, neither can you give and neither can you receive. If your fist is open to give, you're also open to receive. So don't close your fists. Open your hand out and give more. Give more of your time. Give more of your knowledge, your experience, your expertise, and your resources to others. And you will receive it patted down, shaken over, and overflowing into your life. What you give out, you receive back in double portions. So give more and bring your vision to life. The more people we actually help to achieve their vision, the more our vision will come to life too. We will be like them that dreamt. And you know where that comes from. So manifest your vision into this space. You are here and now. Live in the gap. Enjoy living in the gap. Enjoy the now. Your business is your business. And the new year, 2016, and every year thereafter, will be a year of victory, testimony, singing and dancing. A year where you live your dream. And leave your vision. Let your vision shine through. Let it pull you. Because it is time for your vision to pull you. Your pain has been there long enough. It is time that you let that pain push you. And accelerate you to where your vision pulls you. Where you are recognized for who you are. And recognized and rewarded for all that you do. By the way, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful time this time of year. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful life of manifestation and bringing your vision to life. It's been Julie Sylvia Kalunji. I love you. I know you deserve more. I know you can rise and shine to your awesome destiny because it's out there waiting for you. It's inside of you. You have your success and your light comes from within. You'd can't, you And you can do it. You can do it. So live, learn, and love. God bless you. Take care. Love you.